So good evening and welcome to the 2017 Rising Students Awards Night. My name is Lisa Connery. I'm the Director of Guidance here at Algonquin. Tonight we will honor some of our outstanding students. We are very fortunate to work with so many wonderful, talented students here at Algonquin. As parents, you should be very proud of your students' accomplishments. Before we get started, I think it's important to note that I think tonight is our sixth annual Rising Students Awards um, ceremony. Um, when Tom Mead came on as principal, he instituted the Underclassmen Awards Night. We traditionally always just honored our seniors, and he felt that it was very important that we also honor our underclassmen and their efforts throughout their time here at Algonquin. Tonight will be Tom Mead's last night as principal and working here with us on Rising Students Awards Night. So before we start by honoring our students, we'd like to take a moment and honor Mr. Mead for his eight years of dedicated service here at Algonquin. Thank you, Mr. Mead, for all you have done to support our students and community. So the first awards to be given out this evening are the Health and Fitness Department Awards. Please welcome to the podium Mr. Brian Mawson, Chair of the Health and Fitness Department. Well, good evening. Every year, the Health and Fitness Department awards two students in each grade level uh, that have shown exceptional interest, effort, or achievement in the area of health and fitness, uh, the Health and Fitness Award. It is always a difficult decision for our teachers as our students are very exceptional. This year's recipients, however, uh, for the Health and Fitness Award for our freshmen uh, go to Greg Rosen and Rudy Uschneider. For our sophomores, you can come on up, by the way. Uh, for our sophomores, the Health and Fitness Award goes to Colin Hartnett and Catherine Frenzik. And for our juniors, the Health and Fitness Award goes to Nate Hall and Carly Rosenberg. So if you want to come on up to the stage, all six of you, don't be bashful. Yeah. This is the best award, by the way. I'm not biased. At this time, I'd like to welcome to the stage uh, the Department Head of Instructional Support, uh, Mrs. Felicia Ritigliano. Good evening. I would like to start by calling out the Academic Excellence Awards for the students from Instructional Support. These students have worked very hard this year and we're very proud of them. You can come on up as I call your name to receive your award. For our freshmen, Nina Carlson, Derek Nolan, and Josh Tattleman. Our sophomores, Nick Vasquez. <laughs> Juniors, Matthew Lawson, Leilani Torres, Matt Walker, and Kaylee Barker. <laughs> we also wish to honor and congratulate 
students from our English language development program. We'd like to start with our freshmen for academic achievement, Sorata Imoto. And for academic effort, Magad Sam Wehil. Our sophomore is Gabriela Coelho. I know I'm gonna do a horrible job with this name. Um, our junior academic achievement, Lady Slaney Campos. And academic effort for our junior is Larissa De Oliveira. <clears throat> now please welcome to the podium Ms. Jane Bitar, Chair of the English Department. Hello. Celebrations like this are often tough for teachers. On the one hand, we're proud to honor students who excel at a given subject and work really hard to grow academically, but we're also limited by the number of awards we can give. There are many of you whose work in the English classroom is notable and inspiring, but the few we are proud to honor tonight are those who are truly deserving, who stand out as excellent readers, writers, and thinkers as those who bring a level of engagement, curiosity, and creativity to classroom discussions about literature and life. You are present, you are eager, you are smart, and you have devoted time and energy to becoming better students. Congratulations to the following students for their academic achievement in English. Freshman Quinn Potter, Zane Walter, Joshua Tattleman, and Preston Green. And for academic ach achievement in English, sophomores Nathan Rhine, Emily Philbrook, and Connor Lawless. <laughs> Juniors, Mia DiStefano, Allison Berardi, Allison Zanabos, Megan Wig, Andy Robbins, and Dominic Farrow. And for outstanding academic effort in English, congratulations to freshmen Lexi Meyerson and Madeline Costu. Sophomores Julia Howard, Nate Maloney, and Matthew Umphrey. And juniors, Rosa Dipoor and Caroline Alfland. Please welcome to the podium Ms. Amy Collins, Chair of the Fine and Performing Arts Department. Good evening. The Fine and Performing Arts teachers are pleased to recognize students in the areas of art, drama, and music. In art, the Academic Effort Awards go to Sophia Meta, Leah Grimbaltas, and Nick Warren. <laughs> the 
The Academic Achievement Awards in Art go to Caitlin Wilbur, Gabby Jordan, and Nadine El Nazir. In the area of drama, the Academic Effort Awards go to Alina Jane, Ryan Murphy, and Christina Garino. And the Drama Academic Achievement Awards go to Nate DiGregorio, Olivia Riley, and Andrew Hartnett. The recipients of the Music Academic Effort Awards are Julia Cardos, Liliko Uchida, and Matt Keefe. And the Music Academic Achievement Award recipients are Charlie McLarnon, Veronica Jaster, and Nicole Darberpool. Please welcome to the podium, Ms. Angela Mall, Chair of the World Language Department. Good evening. It's my pleasure tonight to announce a number of awards for underclassmen in foreign language. In French, for academic achievement for freshmen, Victoria Haskins, for sophomores, Veronica Jaster, and for juniors, Andrew Gao. For academic effort for freshmen, in French, Apple Lynn. For sophomores, Catherine Lawless and Maxwell Zhu. And juniors, Tessa Damaris and Samara Patterson. And now for Latin, for academic achievement for freshmen, Isabel Medinsky, for sophomores, Shauna Pelham, and for juniors, Rosa Diapor. <laughs> for academic effort in Latin, for freshmen, Elizabeth Mashishan, for sophomores, Adam Hanlon, and for juniors, Rachel Finekitchen. Hey. And now for Spanish, for academic achievement for freshmen, Daniel Goldstein, Gregory Rosen, and Thomas O'Neill. For sophomores, Dominic Gianetto, Alex Lemieux, and Abigail Chan. And for juniors, Michael Gabron, Daphne Binto, and Dylan Logan. For Spanish academic effort, for freshmen, Lydia Magianis and Anna Sullivan.
For sophomores, Miriam Ibrahimi, Tyler Potter, and Brendan Hermanspan. And for juniors, Jordan Santiago, William Cadman, and Edward Newbold. <laughs> Congratulations to all these students, and I'd like to now welcome to the podium Mrs. Mary Beth Pappas, Chair of the Applied Arts Department. Good evening. The teachers in the Applied Arts and Technology Department are pleased to present awards for academic achievement and effort in technology, consumer sciences, and business studies. This year's technology awards for academic achievement go to Nadia Wong, Natalie McDonald, Alan Bramhill, John Bai, Radic Jaster, and Nicole English. The Technology Awards for Academic Effort go to Sarah Berg, Mag Magid Sam Whale, Connor Lawless, Gavin McRae, Tess Damaris, and Dominic Farrow. This year's Consumer Sciences Awards for Academic Achievement go to Catherine Bonk, Rebecca Snow, and Lady Slani Compos. The Consumer Science Awards for Academic Effort go to Declan Herdman, Zachary Carter, and Milos Dworakowski. This year's Business Awards for Academic Achievement go to Joseph Zhang, Paul Probst, Nathan Ryan, Derek Long, Nicole Saulnier, and Katherine Howe.
This year's business awards for academic effort go to Brendan Putnam, Haley Thompson, Haley Shore, Felipe Ribeiro, Sean Prendergast, and Chris Perry. Please welcome to the podium, Ms. Brittany Burns, Chair of the Social Studies Department. Right. Tonight I am honored to present several students with awards for their interest and skill in a variety of social science classes. So to begin, for freshman academic achievement, Paul Probst, Will Hurley, Alexi Wong, Henry Alford, and Kevin Tucker. For freshman academic effort, Lauren Siva, Celia Manasarides, Lauren Hardman, Annalise Kalenda, Serata Emoto, and Joseph Green. For sophomores, academic achievement, Nathan Rhine, Jason Gogan, Leah Grimblatis, Emily Philbrook, Shayna Pelham, Anthony Zalev, Sophia Walker, Kyle Davis, Lexi Austin, Giancarlo Coelho, and Emma Salberg. For sophomores' academic effort, Julia Howard, Matteo Calvanese, Annalise Loizo, Alyssa Mawson, Brady Mullen, Cameron Needles, and Lydia Grist. For juniors, academic achievement, Curtis Brownell, Jack Gingrich, Christina DeMar, Emma Hoffman, and Mary Tambasio. <laughs> juniors for academic effort, Michaela Fear. Allison Zanabos, Will Kozel, Gina Tantodonato, Doug Cavana, and Weston Abuzmara. For our Advanced Placement Awards, Academic Achievement, Taylor Murphy, Emily Milnamo, Maria Tu, and Dylan Logan. Congratulations. For adv advanced placement academic effort, Jane Norcross, Jothi Polacco, and Simon Keller. Our Excellence in Public Speaking Award goes to 
Matt Madamba, Colin Hartnett, Lauren Early, and Olivia Riley. And the Social Studies Elective Excellence Awards go to Jeannie Kirk, Isabella Massarelli, and Katie Stasis. Please welcome next to the podium, Mrs. Beth Dorr, representing the math department. For Academic Achievement Awards in Math, we have Brada Hegadahali, Apple Lynn, Jessica Lee, Matt Mashushan, Chris Harris, and Saruthi Tanakella. For academic effort, we have Jenna Levinson, Majid Samuel, Jean Jeannie Kirk, Anna Edgren, Carly Schultz, and Allison Zianabos. the Rochester Institute of Technology Computing Medal. The Computing Medal recognizes high school juniors who have distinguished themselves academically, are involved members of the community, and have demonstrated an interest and ability in computing. This year's nominees have pursued rigorous course loads, excelling as top-ranking students in the junior class. They are also leaders within the community and have demonstrated a strong aptitude for computing. Please join me in congratulating Andrew Gao and Talia Gilfix as this year's recipients of the RIT Computing Medal. Please welcome to the podium Mrs. Lori Zanini, Chair of the Science Department. Good evening. Many of the most prolific science careers begin quite simply in the lab. Students in the Science Department at Algonquin Regional High School have many opportunities to explore biology, chemistry, physiology, environmental science, forensics, biotechnology, and physics, for example. Tonight's Science Department honorees have begun, already begun their careers. Would the following students please come to the stage? Receiving awards for academic achievement in biology, Samuel Sloven and Simone Fiore, and for academic effort in biology, Sarah Berg and Kamiko Clark. <clears throat> Receiving awards for academic achievement in chemistry, Nathan Rhine, Jack Hill, 
academic effort in chemistry, Alyssa Mawson and Leah Barker. <clears throat> Receiving awards for academic achievement in physics, Laura Shi, Elena Brown, and for academic effort in physics, Daphne Binto and Kara Solomon. I have two distinguished awards to present this evening. The first is the Rensselaer Medal. The Rensselaer Medal has been awarded for more than 90 years to promising secondary school juniors who have distinguished themselves in mathematics and science. Its goals are to recognize the superlative academic achievement of young men and women and to motivate students towards careers in science, engineering, and technology. This year's recipient is Alex Chen. Every year since 1933, Bosch and Loam recognizes and honors high school juniors who demonstrate exceptional promise in the sciences. The sciences mean much more than technological growth. They symbolize the commitment to discovery, analytical thought, and progress. This award is given to a student who shares this vision of advancing science through education and exploration. This year's recipient is Andrew Gao. At this time, I'd like to bring back Lisa Connery to the podium. The, the guidance department is pleased to recognize several students for their selection to the following leadership conferences. The Hugh O'Brien Leadership Conference, also known as HOBI, inspires students to become leaders in their community through leadership training, service learning, and team building experiences. Please join me in recognizing this year's HOBI nominees, Nathan Ryan and Andrew Zhao. Come on up, Nate. Congratulations, Nate. The Northboro and Southboro Rotaries annually sponsor sophomore students to attend, to attend the Rotary Youth Leadership Conference. The conference covers a variety of topics, including leadership fundamentals and ethics, communication skills, problem solving and conflict management, community, and global citizenship. Please join me in recognizing this year's RILA's nominees, Andrew Federici, Priyanka Joshi, Anne Marie Wood, Kazi Belagaruth, Mia Barletta, and Alyssa Gorman.
The Massachusetts State Police Student Trooper Program is designed to expose young adults to the demands of police training and to foster better relationships between youth and the police. The program is held at the Massachusetts State's Police Academy in New Braintree. Please join me in recognizing this year's attendees, Burke Cushman, Will Hanlon, and Mitchell Hills. The University of Rochester Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony Award is in honor of two of Rochester's most significant pioneers in social justice. It recognizes a student who is committed to understanding and addressing difficult social issues. Dedicated to the hearing impaired community, she started an American Sign Language Club here at Algonquin and is involved in numerous organizations outside of school. She has continuously placed a high value on volunteering and helping others. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient of the Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony Award, Samira Patterson. University of Rochester's George Eastman Young Leaders Award. This award is given to someone with strong leadership experience at school and in the community, while also maintaining high academic achievement. The recipient of this award meets the requirements and then some. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient of the George Eastman Young Leaders Award, Jessica Yin. We're, we're moving along. <laughs> University of Rochester Xerox Award for Innovation and in Information Technology. This award is given to a student with a strong interest in innovation and information technology. The recipient must have achieved at a high level in this area while being exposed to new technologies outside of the classroom. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient of the Xerox Award for Innovation and in Information Technology, Alex Chen. Rochester Institute of Technology's Innovation and Creativity Award. This award is given to one male and female in the junior class who have distinguished themselves academically and are active members of their school and community. They must have exhibited outstanding achievement in, in innovation, creativity, or entrepreneurship. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient of the RIT Innovation and Creativity Awards, Nate Ding and Christina Iverson. Please welcome back to the podium, Mr. Thomas Mead, Principal of Algonquin.
Each year, the Algonquin Athletic Department selects a male and female student, scholar, athlete. These individuals are chosen based on excellence both in the classroom and on the athletic field. This title symbolizes all the hard work that went into being a strong performing athlete, leader, student, and citizen. It's not easy balancing sports, academics, community service, and other extracurricular activities, but these two students do so with great poise. Being a scholar athlete means you practice good citizenship and positive sportsmanship, value education, and understand how to work hard and be self-motivated. Please join me in congratulating Nate Anderson as Algonquin's 2017 Male Student Athlete Award. And join me in congratulating Erin O'Reilly as Algonquin's 2007 Female Student Scholar Athlete. Each year, various colleges recognize the outstanding academic achievement of students in the junior class. The following are this year's recipients of the College Book Awards. Brown University. This student is mature, intelligent, and driven. Is the complete package. Her passion for engineering and science are clear when looking at her extracurricular activities. She's a paid intern at Protonox Connectology Corporation, where she has gained hands-on lab experience. In addition, she's the secretary of HOSA, Health Occupation Students of America. She helps to bring in speakers for the club and keeps notes of the meetings. She has continued to pursue music outside of school in both piano and cello. Her accomplishments include teaching beginner piano, organizing charity concerts for both the Tucker Maxson School and the Boston Children's Hospital. She also plays with the Claflin Youth Symphony Orchestra and with the WPI String Quartet at the Worcester Art Museum. She gives back to the community through her participation in various service opportunities. She has volunteered at several medical facilities, including the, Welton, the Newton Wellesley Hospital Day Surgery Department and the Milford Regional Pharmacy Department. She is an active member of her church and has gone down to Mississippi to help refurbish homes affected by Hurricane Katrina. Not only is this young woman gifted intellectually, she is also a compassionate and caring individual who gives back to her community. She's excited to major in biology in college and certainly has a promising future. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient of the Brown University Book Award, Clarissa Wong. Harvard University Book Award. Ranked at the very top of his class, this young man pursues his goals with the utmost passion and determination. He's a young man of many accomplishments. While at Algonquin, he helped form the SWAT SWAT Club, which is a small group of students who help teachers and students better understand technology. He also participated in the DECA Club, both sophomore and junior year. As a sophomore, he won several awards at the state competition, and as a junior, he was invited to the international competition. He's also a valuable member of our award-winning robotics team. Outside of Algonquin, this young man took summer courses at Johns Hopkins to further his academics. He also commuted to Northeastern for over eight weeks in order to conduct research alongside postgraduate students. What impresses us most about him is not his intellect, 
but his ability to relate with peers and adults. He listens to others, is kind to all, and is never boastful about his accomplishments. He is likable and easy to get along with and kind to all. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient of the Harvard University Book Award, Alexander Chen. He needs to ice down, I think. <laughs> the Dartmouth College Book Award. This young woman is bright, driven, and an absolute pleasure to be around. She loves her science courses and is looking forward to studying science and following a pre-med track in college. She keeps busy outside of the classroom with a variety of activities. She's been a member of the swim team for the past three years. Her love for swimming inspired her to begin working at the YMCA where she teaches children how to swim. She's had this job since the 10th grade. She's also co-founded UNICEF and has held the position of co-president since the club's inception. In addition, she is musically talented as well. She plays both the oboe and the English horn in the orchestra outside of school. Her leadership skills have developed since the ninth grade when she joined the steering committee, ran for class treasurer, and received the honor of that position. Through her tenacity and drive, she received a position working in a lab after school at UMass Medical. This young woman is personable, driven, and she has a bright future ahead of her. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient of the Dartmouth College Book Award, Xiaoying Zheng. Cornell University Book Award. One of the top students in his class, this young man has sought out opportunities that have challenged him and made him a well-rounded student. He is a participant in the Science Research Club, which has furthered his interest in majoring in engineering at the college level. He was previously involved with orchestra and soccer and is still a member of our track team, where he also volunteers over the summer with the track camp. Beyond this, he's very active in his church where he is an altar server every Sunday and volunteers at a camp for several weeks each summer. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient of the Cornell University Book Award, Michael Gobran. Williams College Book Award. Well-rounded, driven, and friendly are words that come to mind when describing this young woman, one of the top students in the class of 2018. She's a strong student both inside and outside of the classroom with a remarkable list of achievements. She dedicates a lot of her time to the high school musicals and plays as well as to community theater. A natural leader, this young woman is the Writing Center President, the National English Honor Society's Secretary, and one of the cross-country team captains. She's a member of Algonquin's Chamber Choir and has participated with the MMEA Central District Choir as well as the All-State Choir. This year, she also won first place in the Poetry Out Loud competition after being a finalist in the school's competition the previous two years. Additionally, this young woman won a silver key in critical essay for Boston Globe's Scholastic Art and Writing Awards where she submitted an essay on image, beauty, and the pursuit of perfection. She is certainly a dedicated individual with an asset to Algonquin. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient of the Williams College Book Award, Kara Hedden.
accepting the award for Kara will be her mother backstage. <laughs> Smith College Book Award. Incredibly bright, naturally curious, and intuitive, this student thrives in the most rigorous curriculum Algonquin offers. A prominent member of the science, math, Spanish, music, and national honor societies, she's recognized for her academic promise, leadership, and strong character. Just as she does with her academics, this student dedicates herself fully to her extracurricular involvements. In addition to being a varsity swimmer and golfer, she participates in Best Buddies, Steering Committee, Yearbook, Science Olympiad, Science Research Club, HOSA, and also serves as Vice President of the Rotary Interact Club. Her commitment to the field of science has been outstanding, particularly in the work she has done to introduce children in our community to the world of STEM careers. In working towards her Girl Scout Gold Award this year, she created a website featuring interviews with a variety of professionals in STEM fields to be used in conjunction with the middle school's career day. This is the type of dedication and love for learning that should serve as an inspiration to us all. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient of the Smith College Book Award, Allison Berardi. College of the Holy Cross Book Award. One of the top students in her class, this young woman has made an impact on Algonquin both through the music department and the classroom. Academically, she has consistently enrolled in challenging courses, set ambitious goals for herself, and has been a dedicated and talented member of our music program. Outside of school, she has spent time volunteering through Project Friend in Southboro as well as at Whitney Place Assisted Living Center in Northboro. Throughout her three years at Algonquin, this remarkable student has continuously sought out opportunities that have made her a well-rounded individual and asset to Algonquin. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient of the College of the Holy Cross Book Award, Mary Chan. Regis College Book Award. This young woman is a standout member of Algonquin's class of 2018. Inquisitive, hardworking, and an involved student who has set high expectations for herself since arriving at Algonquin. Academically, she has excelled in each one of her classes and every year has chosen a schedule that has been filled with challenging coursework. A three-year member of our music program, she plays the flute in Algonquin's wind ensemble and jazz band. Beyond the classroom, the student has an extensive amount of interests and hobbies and has taken advantage of the different clubs and organizations offered at the high school. After school, you can find her working with our beekeeping club or writing for the sachem, hosting a student-led radio show, or representing the student body as part of the steering committee. She has recently finished participating in the school musical and is constantly looking for new experiences and different ways to get involved in the community. She is contemplating a college major and career in a math or science related field and is pursuing summer research opportunities at a local college. This young woman is a remarkable student and an asset to Algonquin. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient of the Regis College Book Award, Savan Nakam.
St. Michael's College Book Award. This student is a hardworking, conscientious, and friendly young man who has participated in a rigorous course of studies while also being involved in numerous extracurricular activities. He's a dedicated member of Algonquin's robotics team in HOSA, where he won first place in the EMT category this year. He's also a member of the math team and is currently ranked in the top 30 in Worcester County. A member of the varsity volleyball team, this young man enjoys the teamwork and camaraderie found on the team. This summer, he looks forward to being involved with WPI's Bioinformatics Lab, where he will help with different research projects. He has certainly proven himself to be a valuable member of Algonquin's community. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient of the St. Michael's College Book Award, Andrew Gao. St. Michael's College Book Award. The first words that come to mind when thinking of this student are determined, thoughtful, and a natural born leader. She has a passion for math and science. She is a problem solver and enjoys the challenges of working through the process of solving for an answer and the feeling of achievement she gets when she comes to a conclusion. Church is a big part of this student's life. She's a leader in three different ministries, the English adult ministry, the youth group, and the children ministry. Violin is another important part of her life. She plays with the Boston Youth Symphony Orchestra and spends countless hours practicing. She is a member of the school's full orchestra that practices after school and has won gold and silver medal in the MICA competition. She's involved in several honor societies at her school, studies computer programming on her own, and is the co-president of the Mandarin Senior Citizens Program of the Community Action Program Club. Her future goal is a career in computer science. There is no doubt her work ethic and passion for problem solving will bring her great success in the future. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient of the St. Michael's College Book Award, Maria Tu. Bryant University Book Award. Academically, academically talented across all disciplines, this young woman has excelled through determination, self-discipline, and hard work. She is an integral member and leader of the community. As the president of the class of 2018, she's always been a strong advocate and voice for her peers, always leading them by example in addition to a rigorous course load and class officer responsibilities, she manages to work 14 hours a week at Staples as a marketing services associate and dance on a competitive team. She is humble, thoughtful, and enthusiastic. Her caring attitude and considerate approach have earned her the respect of all who know her. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient of the Bryant University Book Award, Laura Shi. Mount Holyoke College Book Award. This student exemplifies maturity and drive. She is a natural born leader, a quality that shows through the plethora of activities she fills her time with. She's a member of the Student Advisory Council and serves as a student council representative. She's also a member of the steering committee and devotes her time to creating fun activities for the junior class. 
This student is a co-founder and co-president of UNICEF and has overseen bake sales and an annual coat drive for the Refugee Immigrant Center in Worcester. She works as a peer tutor and also tutors math at Kumon Center for Reading and Math. She has been playing the flute since the fourth grade and currently plays with Claflin Hill, a local orchestra. In the summer, she volunteers at the Metro West Medical Center. She has also volunteered for an educational tour in Nicaragua. She plans on studying political science upon entrance into college. She is an amazing leader, organized, energized, creative, and incredibly intelligent. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient of the Mount Holyoke College Book Award, Jessica Yin. This event doesn't happen without a lot of work behind the scenes. I'd like to ask Lisa Connery to come out here for a second. Lisa. Lisa is a master of scheduling, course selection counseling, registering students, and in the forefront of eighth grade transition to the high school. She's a leader of our student assistance team, our leadership team, and a faithful voice of compassion for students who struggle, for families in need. Lisa is a deep resource for Algonquin Regional High School, and it's in gratitude that I turn this event over to her. Hopefully this will continue on for another seven or eight years. Lisa, thank you so much. I think people have some studying to do. Thank you very much. Have a good night. <laughs>